Hello there, here's your update to Friday morning's forecast. The amber warning is in force until 11 a.m. Then after that, it's yellow warnings across the country for snow and ice. Let's take a look at the zones as we head through this morning into this afternoon. Well, covering much of England and Wales, central and southern parts, these are snow showers here piling on a breeze. So the risk of ice and snow showers hit and miss, but even so, some places seeing quite a lot as they move in. This area here associated with that rain, sleet and snow which moved across the country last night, causing havoc across some parts with impassable roads uh, and also travel chaos elsewhere as well. In fact, the amber warning, which was up to 11 o'clock, added another five centimetres snow across the west of London. And you can see this area here across the Midlands, central southern England, easing across Avon and Somerset, but continuing to feed in across East Anglia, as well as the home county. It's a little bit of rain down towards Kent there, and then further snow showers likely just to clip that coast there of Dorset, perhaps even Somerset and Devon. So wintry here. Elsewhere, we continue to see the feed of snow showers coming in across the eastern part of Scotland, eastern England, penetrating further inland through the morning, through the afternoon. They will peg back to the coast a little bit. One or two can't be ruled out for Northern Ireland. So that's your rain, sleet and snow through the next few hours into this evening. Let's add on the cloud field and you can see where the best of the sunshine will be uh, during today. It's for the border regions, western parts of Scotland. Northern Ireland not doing too badly at all. Perhaps Anglesey, the Isle of Man, northwest England. But through the morning, you can see these snow showers moving over Pennine districts towards Lancashire, as well as Greater Manchester. And most frequent bursts will be along this east coast here. Further south, as you can see, still wintry here. And wherever you are, it's going to be a bitterly cold day. Slippery surfaces where you see that snow. And as temperatures plummet overnight tonight, a fairly widespread risk of ice again, pretty much anywhere. We continue, though, with those showers in the east. They are keep on going with that breeze. And then another batch comes in across Northern Ireland through the early hours of the morning, also clipping West Wales as well as the West Country. So, yes, there's another warning out through tonight into tomorrow morning for ice and snow. Again, those showers continuing across the northeast of England, southeast Scotland, the far north of Scotland, temperatures plummeting. And in the glens of Scotland, temperatures will dip down to minus double digit figures, maybe minus 12 or so. So a very bitterly cold start to the weekend. It will be bright for many. And again, those showers persist in the west as well as the east inland. We'll see some drier weather and also some sunshine. So through the afternoon, temperatures will struggle. Watch out for the ice, particularly where you have seen those snow showers. And temperatures, again, struggling up to two, three, four degrees Celsius. Some places where you've seen a lot of snow and that snow hasn't melted, temperatures will struggle to get above freezing. So all in all, Saturday is looking like a bitterly cold day. And that leads into another frosty night with the risk of some freezing fog patches come Sunday morning. But it will be a dry start, some sunshine coming through once that fog has lifted. And then we watch to the west where an area of rain will move in very slowly and we could see some snow on its leading edge as it pushes across the mainland. We'll keep you posted here at the Met Office. Bye-bye.